Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Here's the rules to my Nuzlite run. Pause the video if you gotta read them. Boop! Hey, welcome back to Tim Friend. It's been a while. It's been almost a month since I've played the Pokemans. But that's okay. I haven't forgotten. I'll never forget how to play Pokemon. I definitely haven't been playing a lot of games on the Nintendo Switch. And I definitely am not gonna fuck up the button layout. Uh, for this USB controller, I mean Nintendo DS. So if I make a, a big boo-boo, uh, then uh, you'll know it's because it's not the... Con uh, I'm used to different button layouts right now, so I'm sorry if I have to F up. I'm, it's been a while. I'm sorry. I'm not, I mean, I'm not sorry. I've still had a good time. Uh, it's definitely been a very, a very Fire Emblem channel for about three weeks straight or something like that and I know that's it's not necessarily a supposed to be the focus of my channel I, I made that that promise so many years ago uh, but I love Fire Emblem and I love Fire Emblem Immortal Sword and I love Fire Emblem Three Houses so far uh, so please please to be forgiving to me uh, but I'm I'm not, I'm not abandoning the Pokemon. It's okay. I'm still, do I have Rock Smash? I don't have freaking Rock Smash. Ugh, should I teach someone Rock Smash just to get this one item? I don't think so. I'm just not gonna deal with it. Uh, there's a Fight Boy. It's right, okay, it's randomized. I, I, like I said, it's been a while. The only Pokemon I've played since the last time I recorded this was playing Storm Silver on List on El, El Streamadente. Uh, it's just what we call it, you know, here in Southern California. Uh, then I'm I'm not, I'm not used to the Pokemon being randomized. I'm just used to the Pokemon being stronger than I remember now. Uh, also, uh, uh, Dangerine does not need Magnet Rise. Thank you very much. Give up on a Magnet Rise. Uh, let's see. We'll go down here, get this- Oh! I forget that I need to be on the lookout for ninja children. A real thing that exists in this world. I don't know, uh... I mean, it's it's certainly cute. You can't- I can't get around that the concept of ninja kids is a cute one. Uh, they're just little kids pretending to be ninjas and they've got Pokemon and they hide in the ground and they pop up and give you a little spookum. Uh, but, I mean, I've, if you've seen my Wind Waker playthrough, you've probably heard me go like, why the, how the fuck do these people survive on these bullshit little islands? Uh, I have the same, uh, issues with the Pokemans. There are times when I'm playing a, a video game where I feel like it is difficult to invest myself in the world sometimes because of the absurdity of the living situations. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, wave incense. I'll use that for my mana fee? The thing that I don't have? Um. But, like, Pokemon trainers just... They just chill. They just... For the most part, I'll say. Some, some of them are, like triathletes and you see them running in a circle or bicycling back and forth or swimming around in a square uh, but a lot of the time Pokemon trainers are just standing still and it's like okay maybe maybe they're only standing still to you because this game is from the perspective of a child and they're only paying you're only paying attention to how you're moving through a space you, you just see other people as sort of obstacles rather than as, as people with their everyday lives. That's an interesting concept. I hadn't really considered Pokemon as uh, an experience uh, through the lens of a child. Because they're like, what, 11? That's what it was in Season 1 Pokemon anime, but I haven't... I have not kept up to date on my Pokemon anime, so maybe it's like, oh yeah, I'm 23. I'm Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Though somehow I doubt it. I feel like Ash is probably kept in a Bart Simpson-like stasis. Or Calvin and Hobbes-style stasis. Oh wow, Murkrow. Something that gets perfectly around Paula's moveset. 
That's unfortunate. Uh, let's go Hargan. Hmm, Hargan's a bit of a spooky one to switch into just because of how frail they are, but fortunately Murkrow is not super scary until it evolves. I mean, it's it's fine. It's just not... I feel like it's not busting out a lot of, a lot of outside of its type uh, moves. And honestly, the types, the moves that it does have inside the dark type are probably kind of shit, like Pursuit. So I don't give a dunk about that. Pupitar. Okay, this boy definitely has a rock slide, and if I leave in Hargon, Hargon will die. Uh, so I'm going to switch out to Rambolt. Hooray for Rambolt! Oh my god, I vaguely having a, remember having a dream last night where I was playing Pokemon, and someone learned Leaf Blade. And uh, I was like, oh shit, Leaf Blade, that's so much better than Grass Sword, or whatever the fuck. Like, I, I dreamed that my Pokemon had a shittier version of Leaf Blade, and I was excited for Leaf Blade to replace it. So that's my fucking exciting dream. Aren't you thrilled? Maybe it's because I knew that I was going to play Pokemon today. And I did. I did know that I was going to do this. I, I, was, I was getting ready. I was getting excited. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep like, like a child on Christmas Eve. I, I could not even go to sleep for the visions of Pokeballs danced in my head. Oh, no. Oh god, okay. Uh, I have made a, a, a gaseous emission uh, from my body, and uh, I can already smell how bad it is. Uh, but I've committed to sitting here for almost two hours. Uh, hopefully it goes away. Uh, or perhaps I will perish from uh, sensory overwhelmment uh, before I have to go. And so if, if the episodes don't, if the episodes sit, like stop at around like three, uh, then you'll be like, ah, yes, he died because he had to smell his fart too much. Uh, I mean my gaseous emission. Uh, and, but you'll know that I was resurrected enough to uh, put, actually post the episodes, to upload them. Because I would, I would never... I would never fail to upload episodes that I record, except for one session. You know what? As I said it, I remembered it. There was one session that I remember that I have never uploaded, and I never will, uh, because it's irreplaceable. It was me and my buddy Patrick. We were playing uh, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, which, if you haven't played, is great. It's like a co-op uh, spaceship piloting game where every you have too few people to man all the stations in a spaceship and uh, everyone has to frantically run around to the relevant stations and we played it and then it turns out the game audio and the our voice audio was recording on the same track and so it was unfucking listenable uh it, it like if we turned down the voice then it, we would also be turning down the game audio to be quiet. If we turned up the audio, it would be our voices drowned out by the admittedly great noises of the game. But it is it's terrible. It makes me sad that that's the way that it happened, but it did. Here's a piece of useless trivia. Fear of Clowns is also known as Coolrophobia. Okay, I guess I'm mildly Coolrophobic. I'm not, actually. I don't, I don't have a phobia. I think they are creepy. I think they, they have... A clear creepitude factor, but I am I am not coulrophobic. I don't actually know if I have any f like true phobias. Um, if I do, I just don't know the name for them. Uh, it's probably like fear of not fear of your friends all lying to you that they are down to hang out with you and stuff like that. Like that would be that's something that like uh, irrationally plagues me. Must bear down and train, and for that, time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Oh, okay. Just gave me a watch app. I guess he only had one. The weirdo. All right. What what are we even doing in this town? Uh oh, there's some kind of yeah, there's some Team Galactic shit. Okay, there's no Pokemon Mart, but we could just go in a house. Why not just make? Pokemart instead of having this house. Okay. What do I need? Oh, it's all the same shit you could buy from a Pokemon Center. 
for a Pokemart. That's silly. What do you got? All the same shit. Ooh, Dusk Balls, though. I will have some Dusk Balls. Please and thank you. I'm rich as fuck. Uh, excuse me. Alright, what's in this house? Can we get free shit from this house? In the last house, I spent $10,000. Isn't that close to Lake Verity? Sure is. Said to be home to Mesprit. Uh, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, it's an old tale. I'm super bored. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Talk about Cynthia. Is this where Cynthia lives? What the frick? Oh, it's a book about the, the three little elfie Pokemon. That's nice. It's cute. But, great. Howdy. Studying up on local history? That's the end of this conversation. Great. Thanks, man. All right. Uh, didn't really talk about Pokemon this episode, but that's okay. We got plenty of episodes to go, and... <laughs> oh, it just said there's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins, and it's like, yeah, man, that's a, that's what you should call him. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying it will blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. My goodness. The plot certainly thickens, doesn't it? Alright, next time on Tim Friend, we'll stop another freaking terrorist attack in this children's game. Bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>